Hey guys, it's Shannon and... And Miles. Hello, we are so excited to be here today. I am so excited to talk about some of the top interview moments that we've had of this last year. I feel like this has just been such a crazy year. It's hard to even think back on all of the things that have happened. Yep. Um, so we're gonna try and narrow it down a little bit for you today. There's been some big names. There's been some real big names and a lot of eye contact. So oh. yeah, I think you should start with yours though. I'm interested to hear. Well, my first moment, my favorite of this year, was actually very similar to how we're sat right now. We were sat at the uh, Toronto International Film Festival. Oh, I was there Tiff, for that. Yay, okay. And we just watched My Policeman. It's a great movie. And then out walks the cast of My Policeman. Harry Styles. Including Harry Styles. So Harry's there, they've just finished this very kind of uh, formal press junket. Like serious. Like no one's allowed to talk, get off your phone, like, yeah. pay attention. Right. Uh, and as the lights come on at the end, I just... I saw an opportunity and I grabbed it. And I pretended like I didn't know Miles. Yeah, Shannon was dying because I went, <laughs> Hi, Harry! In this like very quiet theater yeah. full of like film critics and things. And we were close. Like, yeah. We were like second row. We were the closest to Harry that you could get at this <laughs> yeah. thing, but he seemed to enjoy it. Yeah, obviously the lights were shining in, in his eyes, so he didn't get to fully like appreciate no, I think he saw you. Okay. I think he saw you through that. I think you really, uh, yeah, yes, did that. He definitely saw me. This is Harry Styles waving back at me. <laughs> Hi, Harry. <laughs> Hi, Harry. I think I was just like mainly jealous that you got a wave out you of You were like, ass. oh my God. Yeah. Like, what? One of my favorite moments though also happened at the Toronto International Film Festival, mm -hmm. uh, which is such an iconic event and festival that happens here in Toronto. I had the chance to talk to Kobe Smulders, who I love. Yes. Um, I was such a big fan of How I Met Your Mother and Robin Sparkles and all of that. So she was in town promoting the show High School with Tegan and Sarah, which is about their upbringing. And because the show has a lot of queer themes, I had to ask her what she thinks of being a queer icon. And she was pleasantly surprised uh, by the question and she gave me a great answer. And it, the video kind of blew up online as well. A lot of people also wanted to know this. So it was nice to see the response in that way. But yeah. Are you aware that you are somewhat of a queer icon, particularly with lesbians? No. Am I? You are. Really? Yeah. This is news to me. As a member of the lesbian community, really? you're a hot topic. That's awesome. Yeah, he was just such a good sport about it and we had a great conversation. That's awesome. Um, if there's one thing you might have recognized, there's a running theme. I always seem to have a drink in hand whenever <laughs> we're doing an exciting <laughs> iHeartRadio interview uh, or video. And uh, it was no different with this particular moment in Montreal when we went to Oshiega Music Festival, which was such a blast. It was, in fact, maybe the best weekend of the year. It was year. so good. I feel like we really bonded that weekend too. Yeah, you know? it was good. Now we're best friends. Besties. Uh, well, this was the moment the Kid Leroy had just finished performing on stage on day one, I think. I think it was like the first day. Yeah. And uh, he w walks off the stage, comes to the little media kind of iHeartRadio exclusive interview area, and he's shirtless. And I'm like, <laughs> hold on a minute. Maybe I should get shirtless, <laughs> make him feel more comfortable. So there I did it. Within like five seconds, whipped the shirt off. Um, we had a couple of beers uh, with the kid Leroy because he's 19. Yes. And obviously he was he could drink. legally drinking in Canada right. while he was here. Uh, and it was just a moment. It was, you yeah. Know, I was lucky enough to witness the whole thing. And the vibes were just so good. I'm surprised you're even wearing a shirt right now. I know, right? Um, but yeah, it was, I love it too because we saw him approaching and I could see the wheels turning in your head. And you were like, I should, I'm gonna take off my shirt. I'm gonna, should I take off my shirt? I'm gonna take off my shirt. And then you just like whipped it off and it turned into a great interview. Yeah, moment, we had so. a real moment. We had a good, yeah. uh, it was one of those look at us moments. And yeah, totally. I, we should, I didn't get the memo, but I guess we'll both. Oh my God. <laughs> this guy, I have an excuse. I just came off stage. That's all right. I just ran back from the Charlie XCX to meet you. Oh, beautiful. Here so uh, probably deserve one of these. The legal drinking age in Montreal, Quebec is, is 18. 18? Beautiful. And you turn 90 next month. I do. So even if we weren't in Quebec, I'd still give you one anyway. Thank you very so, much. Uh, well, there you go. Cheers <laughs> and, to you. And uh, thank you. Just a couple boys having a couple beers. Oh, yeah. Look Hell at us. Yeah. Hey? Look, look at us. Didn't yeah. think I'd end that weekend seeing Miles' nipples, but um, I did. Here we are. So, you want to see them again? No, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. Maybe later. All Maybe right. off camera. That sounds worse. Um, <laughs> More nipples in 2023. How about that? Another one of my favorite moments happened at Oceaga as yes. well. It really was a big weekend for us. It was just like so magical in a lot of ways. I had the chance to talk to one of my favorite artists, Girl in Red. 
Uh, she is so such an incredible artist. She's just such a cool person and very funny. And we talked about a bunch of different things. She tricked me into thinking that she knew how to speak French. Um, she did, doesn't know how to speak French. She was just speaking gibberish. But I was like, wow, you're really good. And we had a conversation about us having really bad turbulence on the flight right. on the way to Montreal. We all kind of bonded in that moment because yeah. we felt like the plane was going to go down. No, seriously, we can't like highlight that enough. No, seriously, we can't like, highlight that enough. How it was scary. Bad that, that was the worst flight I've ever been on. Um, Girl in Red has a fear of flying, so we got into a conversation about that. But we reassured each other because on TikTok, uh, there's this video that was going around explaining that when you're in the air, you're actually kind of like in jello, which is kind of reassuring to think about when you're in those types of situations. Yeah. So we had a fun little chat about that, and I really feel like her and I bonded over um, hating the flights that we had recently <laughs> been on. So that was really fun. Is it true you have a fear of flying? Yes. H how I'm do you so deal with that? Flying. Um, I just fly business and hopefully I die comfort <laughs> with comfort. <laughs> I don't know. I think now I'm kind of just like, okay, whenever I go on a plane, I just need to let go of the fact that I don't have any control yeah. and then hopefully just like imagine that, you know, just like picture that I'm on like on a flying bus, you know, like right. there are so many flights every single day. So just like yeah. imagine just being like one of those. Right. We had like the worst turbulence ever on the way here. <gasps> and I was thinking that I was like, OK, well, like, wh what am I going to do? Like this could did just you be see a the TikTok about the like the, the jello. jello. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, like, see you at the airport. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll fly out. For yeah. Sure. Uh, but that was great. I hope we get to go back to Oshaga next yeah. year as well. And we'll be driving. So, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Or the train. Or the train. Yeah. We do both. <laughs> My favorite and number one interview moment from this year has to be hands down Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I've been a lifelong childhood and man-child wrestling fan <laughs> and when I heard that he was coming here to promote his uh, DC movie Black Adam I was like right, right this has to happen I'm gonna bring my WWE replica championship belt that mm. I've had for yeah a long time <laughs> and uh, also uh, a bottle of The Rock's Terramana Tequila, um, which he was, you know, so so great to he see. He signed your belt too, right? He signed the belt and we took a shot of the tequila. Well, how many people can say that they've done a shot with I The know, Rock? I know, it was wild. That it needs to be in your like two truths and a lie. It was more of a meet and greet, honestly, than an interview, <laughs> but um, here was a clip. Black Adam, a bit of a rule breaker, go, and so am I. That's why I managed to sneak a bottle of your finest tequila. I will do the honor. Yes. I'll be happy to, yes. Incredible. Right. I've been waiting for this moment. I've never had it before. Really? In fact, I bought it from the liquor store today and they said usually they never have it in stock. It flies off the shelves. Well, that's a good thing it flies off the shelves. And as a matter of fact, what we're having now, this Terramana tequila, uh, wound up breaking every record in the spirits industry. So it's very cool. I'm very grateful. I'll give this back. It's actually, I'll hold it. Would you like to, what, what would you like the toast to be? To breaking rules. To breaking rules. I like that. I'll give you one more too. So to breaking rules and to being bold. Cheers. Cheers, brother. It's good. It's good stuff. It is good. Thank you so much. This would be the cherry on top if you could do the honors. And please, would you would you sign this Take for this me? Take this home. Yeah, Thank yeah. you very much. And you! <laughs> <laughs> I will sign it for you, yes. Thank you so much. All right. What's your name? Miles. It doesn't matter what... Okay, I just had to <laughs> pull it back. Miles, Miles with a Y. Great interview. Thank you. Thank you very Congrats much. on your belt. Woo! I made it. Good Thank job. you. Thank you for the deal. Amazing. I love that so much. Yeah. And I'm only this jealous that you had the opportunity. Is he taller in person? He's ju he's just as wide as he is tall. Like, really? Yeah. 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 That's crazy. He's wow. a machine. Amazing. Yeah. So that was fun. Yeah. My favorite interview moment of this year was kind of a little reunion moment for me um, because I interviewed Louis Capaldi a couple years ago, which is still maybe one of my, if not my favorite interview that I've ever done yes. with him. Scottish Beyonce. Scottish Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> America's sweetheart, Louis Capaldi. So that was such a good moment. And then when I had the chance to jump on Zoom with him again to talk about all his new music that he's coming out with, um, he was lucky enough to remember me from the last interview. So that was really nice. Did he say, Shannon, Shannon, I, I recognize you. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I'll show you the clip. We, we've done an interview before. Yes, we have. Good, and I, that, that pops up on my TikTok all the time. Oh yeah, mine too. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah, that was one of my yes. favorite interviews, Sarah. Great times, good times. But then the bit where I said that I do children very well, that one. Yeah, yeah right. that was odd. And I asked you about your brother, and you were surprised. I was very shocked, yeah, great yeah. question.
Great question. Yeah. He's well, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Oh, yeah, so, I was going to say, how's the word? And then another part of that interview that I really liked is that he had uh, talked to me about how he had recently bought a house that was picked out by Ed Sheeran. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ed Sheeran picked out the house that he wanted to buy, but he hates the house. Right. So, yeah. Was it like haunted or something? or just? He just said he didn't like the decor. Not he the said vibe. it smelled. He, I think he felt maybe a little pressured to buy the house, and now he's renovating the whole thing, and he said that it cost him a lot of money. So. I moved into a house on my own that it was actually Ed Sheeran who who sent me the house. Oh, and yeah? he was like, oh, because I told him I was looking and he was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Buy something that you, you think you would like to live in, like with your kids and stuff eventually. I don't even know if I'm going to have kids, but it was Ed Sheeran. So I was like, sure, Ed Sheeran, I'll do that. And then I bought the house and then I moved in and I hated it. I hated everything about the house so much. What? What do you just mean? It, it just smelled like, it smelled like smoke. I didn't like it. I didn't like the decor of the house. And mm. um, so then I'd now live in a different house, but I still have that other house, but I'm renovating it and it's oh. costing a pretty penny. So Ed Sheeran has basically cost me a big say? fat wad of cash. Thanks very much for that, Ed. So I guess don't take housing advice from Ed Sheeran then. Yeah, a lesson to be learned. Uh, in the comments below, let us know some of your favorite iHeartRadio CA moments from 2022. Yeah, and let us know what you want to see happen in 2023. Also, make sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date with everything that we have coming up next year. We'll see you in the new year. Can't wait. Cheers. Cheers.